What's up guys? Just thought uh, this would be the opportune time to show you uh, a little project I've been working on. So, um, actually for my sister's wedding was the original idea for this. Um, we were going to build a dry ice machine so she can have her first dance in kind of a cloud. So I uh, got a hold of my buddy Bob and uh, he helped me build this thing. I credit most of the work to it. Go around the back here and show you guys. We got uh, just a switch, kick it on and off. And then uh, GFI, uh, protected outlet, and a nice little cord. Plug it into the wall. Uh, it kind of looks goofy right now with these little hole filler things because uh, it's going to get filled and painted to just be black. Uh, you open it up here. Just finished this basket. Obviously right off the bat I've got some buoyancy issues so I'm going to have to figure out. But uh, that basket's designed to hold about 20 pounds of dry ice. Um, for this round I'm going to use 5 pounds just to check it out. Um, Bob actually did a lot of testing on his own. This is the first time I've ever tested this thing, so a lot of firsts for me here. We've got the 1,000 uh, watt heater down there. Uh, that's supposed to bring the water up to eh, 140 degrees is what we found was the best. So I'm going to be, uh, first thing I'm going to do is kind of uh, check the temperature of the water as I go. Uh, right now it's sitting at about 40 degrees, so it's pretty cold. Uh, I'm going to see how hot the uh, heater can get it before we get it ran running. Uh, I got the silver hose for now. I actually have a box in my other room uh, with the black hose that we're actually going to use for the event. So for testing purposes, we're just going to use the silver one today. So I'm going to get this water heated up and then we'll see what this thing can do. Alright, so it's, uh, let's see, 11, 12 now. It's been heating up for a while. It looks like we're at... Uh, Roughly 123, 126. So, close enough to 130 for me. Not exactly the fastest heating thing, but uh, all the other units that we looked at had 1,000 watt heaters, so I guess that's about average. But uh, So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to put the uh, dry ice in the basket, drop it down in there, and see what we got. Wanted to try and see if I could cover this whole area because this is about what the dance floor would be. It's laying out pretty nice. Not too thick, not too thin. Unfortunately there's no like barrier so it's just going to find the lowest spot and go to that. It's uh, covering pretty good. Units uh, holding tight. When we ran some tests last time it was uh, coming out of the seams because we hadn't sealed it yet so this is only five pounds like I said it's going to be 20 pounds so um, for five pounds this is looking pretty good uh, it's going out Let's take a walk through here all the way out through here you can still see it's coming out got a nice little layer so also wanted to add that uh, it's dwindling down here, you know, I took the hose off, not a whole lot coming out, it's still, still making some, but I, uh, I did want to show something that we found out early in the process, the, uh, the whole reason we have a basket is because if you dunk it down all the way to the bottom, it collects that, uh, that moisture and uh, grabs onto it, so this is actually like pretty hot. It, uh, it almost feels like steam. It's a very weird feeling that's kind of hard to describe. But uh, it works wonders on floors. So if you've ever watched that infomercial on the uh, Shark Steamer or whatever, yeah, it, uh, it definitely works. Um, I've just been kind of dragging my foot around with a clean shirt that I had. And uh, it's getting pretty dirty. You probably can't really see it on here. But uh, it's doing an amazing job. And when we were at uh, Bob's house, doing all kinds of testing they have all hardwood floors and uh, when we originally dunked it down in there it just got his floors completely like soaked so I was walking around with the mop and we realized it was actually cleaning it so if you uh, if you guys ever want to clean your floors dry ice machines do that too so it's pretty sweet I'm overall uh, pretty happy with the thing and I think I can find all kinds of different uses for it so thanks for checking the video out Hopefully this was semi-entertaining to you. Um, 
I know nerds might find it more entertaining than regular people, but anyway, that's my little new toy.